Now, the live stream revealed Tagindo as the most nominated artist this year, with six nominations, including for Best Gospel Male Artist and Best Gospel Album. Ayadantanzi and Kholi Mwango received five nominations each. Zanele Mboga Zingambule, the founder of World Gospel Powerhouse and executive producer of the Crown Gospel Music Awards, joins us now to share more. A very good morning to you, Mam Zanele. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me and good morning to your viewers. I mean, no doubt the Crown Gospel Awards are the pinnacle of the gospel music entertainment calendar. And what attributes uh, to the longevity of these awards? I think it is authenticity. We are very real. We are true to our genre. We understand the industry. And before we actually started the Crowns, I traveled to various countries. We went to Nigeria, we went to the US, and then we came back and we tailor made a product that is suitable for our own local consumption. Right. So I think more than anything, um, when we started, we did not have an industry, so to say, but we are so excited now that 14 years down the line, we are the biggest gospel music awards in the African continent. And what was the nomination criteria for this year? Look, there is a lot that uh, the judges look for, um, from the content to the lyrics, the actual content, the music, the ability. Um, they, there's just there's a, a very long criteria that they look at. And I'm excited that um, in spite of COVID-19, we've had such a huge, huge number of people who decided to enter this year. It shows the growth in the industry, mm. but it also shows the appetite for um, seasoned, but also new up and coming artists. And viewers get to vote for their favorites in each category. I mean, do you have judges also voting or does it solely depend on votes only? No, we've got about 30 categories. Out of those, about 25, there are judges who come from different provinces and different radio stations who are uh, seasoned gospel practitioners. Um, and then we've got about five categories that way voters uh, are, are supposed to have a choice, basically. Okay. And the two big ones will always be the best gospel song and the best gospel artist mm. where voters can exercise their right to choose whoever they feel needs to take the crown. Okay. And how many times can one person vote for their favorite artist? No, it is open. It is open. As many times as you want, you can mm -hmm. be able to vote. And the awards... It's very, it becomes very difficult. Yeah. Okay. And the awards will be hosting only 300 people, I do understand. Why so? We've got, look, awards are not just another event. You don't wake up and decide that you are hosting the awards the following day. There yes. is a process and the logistics are, 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 are very um, complicated. Mm -hmm. So it was before the president announced that we can now have 750. We were planning on 250 that um, was allowed at the time. But we are going to have 600 in total. Remember, we've got about 120 nominees. We've got our crews, we've got our performers, and then we're only going to have 300 from the public. Okay. That makes it plus minus 650. And that's also based on the venue. Okay. And uh, remind viewers again how they can go about voting for their favorite artists. Look, when you vote, um, the best gospel song, the best gospel artist, I really want to um, tell the viewers to go to our pages on Facebook, Crown Gospel Music Awards, or they can go to my own page, Instagram, Instagram at Mbogazi Zanele or Zanele Mbogazi on Facebook. You will get all the details on how to vote. Voting lines um, will be closing before the date of this year because we are pre-recording. We are not going to be live. Um, so please, again, this year, vote so that you do not have to complain when your favorite artist does not win. But I also just want to remind them that even those who want to come, the tickets are already available. They are not a computer ticket because of the fewer numbers. Um, get to our pages, as I've said, my pages or the Crown Gospel Music pages. You will get the details on how to get your tickets. Remind us again when the big day is. The 12th of November is the big day. The 12th of November, 
the glitz and glam of the gospel music industry. That is when we will be um, recording the event in Durban and then it will be on television on the 28th of November, which is our signature date, signature Sunday, the last Sunday of November. But I want to take this opportunity to just say to the corporate sector, to the business sector, Come join us. Mm. We are looking for new sponsors. We cannot yes. be sustainable if we do not have funding. The Crowns, as I have said, have proved themselves. They are the biggest gospel awards in the African continent. Our artists, our gospel artists, are great ambassadors for various brands. And when you talk gospel, you talk more than music, more than the microphone. We talk about social cohesion. We talk about moral regeneration. So if you have a product, if you have a service, if you have something that you believe can resonate with our mega Christian community beyond just the artist, please talk to us. As the World Gospel Powerhouse, okay. we would like to partner with like-minded people. Ah, when it comes to glitz and glam, the crowns never disappoint. Zanele Bogazi, great chatting to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. I appreciate the time. Indeed. Well, the Crown Gospel Awards are back and ready to celebrate artists, groups and producers who've kept the praise and worship going in good and bad times. We just spoke to the founder, Zanele Bogazi Kambule.